what made you want to join the MLA? Mainly because I wanted to give my business a bit of extra strength and credibility. I wanted to have a little bit of a upper hand on competitors. I wanted to put my skills and knowledge to the test to ensure that, you know, the skills and knowledge that I did have are, or do have, I should say, are of the highest standard that I could possibly have. Um, and looking at all the different companies and associations that was out there, there was only one that ever stood out to me, and that was the MLA. And the fact that the MLA are a non-profit organisation, so they're, um, they basically work for the good of the people as opposed to profit. And that's what anyone would want, I'm sure. You know, you, of course you want a organisation that's working towards strengthening itself, all about the brand awareness and focusing on its members and to help increase their membership and the benefits to bring new people and to keep people within that association. How did you find the MLA exam? Again, the, the exam I found to be extremely enjoyable, um, believe it or not, because it wasn't an exam in the sense that you would normally expect an exam to be. Um, you know, when you think exam, you think nerves, you think you're on edge, the blind, going in blind, the fear of the unknown, you don't know what to prep for, etc. But that couldn't be further from the truth with the MLA. I mean, prior to going, you knew the four elements that you're going to be doing. You have that time to prep. Um, you know, so you kind of already ahead of the game there. Then on the day when you arrived there, we were shown around the premises. We met the staff. We we knew the layout of the the venue. We, you know, all the sort of things that will put you at ease. You knew where the toilets were, you know, just something simple like that. You know, if you needed to go to the toilet, you, you didn't have to ask loads of people, you just knew where everything was. Um, you know, you got to meet the invigilator who's going to be taking you for the exams. Now, I did mine over two days, two modules per day, so four in total. Um, and then prior to each of the modules, the invigilator would be there giving you um, hints and tips on how to pass the do's and the don'ts, things to be mindful of. Um, and on top of that, they would do practical demos where possible. And again, that was refreshing everything. So as soon as you went in, you wasn't, you wasn't blind to anything. You had prior knowledge, giving you less chance of making a mistake. How has company membership helped you? I mean, this could be an entirely different whole video um, because there's too much to mention, but the main thing that springs to mind for me is the uh, Find a Locksmith part of the MLA website. Um, I mean, that's a massive, powerful tool. And then running alongside that, because you have your personal page within the MLA website, again, that gives you a lot of strength. The SEO is a powerful tool that's being done in the background with social media as well. And again, the link to your own personal website, your business website, that's all nothing but strength being added to your profile. Also, the, the fact of the, the TV and radio campaigns that have been done, again, brought a lot of awareness to Master Locksmiths Association, which again, you know, these are areas that people are listening and watching all of the time. And, and the uplift um, I received from recent campaigns was, was so helpful. Um, because customers were talking about, oh, we heard, or we saw this on the TV, we wasn't aware. And you just know from that, if they know of someone who needs a locksmith, they will spread that and it will spider web out to everyone. Would you recommend MLA membership to other locksmiths? 100%. Um, over the years, I've, I've helped other, many other locksmiths um, sign up and join. I've helped them with the process of prepping for their exams and and giving them all the information and knowledge that they need to help in all the better practice and be prepared themselves on top of when they get there, the help and preparation that they're gonna get in at their, um, through their exam. And then obviously advising of all the other benefits that they're gonna get from it. You know, it's not just a logo, it's everything else that comes with that. Um, and 
I'm a big believer in strength in numbers and the more members that the association has, the more clout as an association everyone will get, the more people will sit back and take notice. And then if um, locksmithing does ever become licensed by the government, the MLA have gone above and beyond to create a platform for us that the, uh, the government would have to look at using that. I would 100% um, recommend other companies um, joining the MLA and uh, making use of it today.